guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to another installment of my top five series. If you're interested in this look here, I did do a get ready with me where Instagram got to choose my makeup and I also have a top five series going on. So if you are interested in hearing some of my favorites, stay tuned, stick around. But today we are talking about highlighters. So far we've done foundation, blush, and bronzer. I still have lip products that I need to do as well. So if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking. I love of makeup. I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K Bella fam. But why don't we go ahead and jump into the video? So these videos are pretty quick and easy to film because I am just sharing my top five highlighter picks with you. I used to have a ton of highlighters. I did some decluttering recently and I really have, I have like a taste, I have a type. So in a highlighter, I do not want chunks of glitter. I want something that is going to be bam in your face. I want it to stand out. I want to look like I am highlighted, but... I don't want any chunks of glitter and I want it to blend into the skin. Like I wanna look like I am glowing from the inside out. I have dry skin, I love a good glow. I'm also not really into creams. So all of these are going to be powder highlighters. I am wearing one today just so that you get the gist, but I'm not going in any particular order. I guess I'll start with one. I have one brand where I'm mentioning two shades for my five highlighters, and that's Ofra Cosmetics. Now this is the Feel In Myself Highlighter Trio. As you can see, I did hit pan here in Rodeo Drive, and then this one right here in Blissful. These two are definitely top favorites for me. This little palette is great. This shade in the mil middle is Pillow Talk, and I actually picked this up because I didn't have a ton of pink highlighters at the time, and I didn't think I would reach for Blissful, which is more of a rose gold, but I really do love it. I love the Blissful shade. As you can see, I love Rodeo Drive, which is just a champagne, but the Ofra highlighters are very pigmented, very bam in your face. They really stand out. They give you a blinding highlight. If you're looking for something more subtle, more natural, I would not go with these, but if you want something that is going to give you like a beaming glow, I really love the Ofra highlighter formula. Then we'll jump into the highlighter that I am wearing right now. Can you see? I have a nice glow going on, and it is by Sigma Cosmetics. This is in the shade Twilight. Sigma recently came out with blushes, bronzers, and highlighters, and I did film a video where I was testing them out, but I didn't pick up the highlighters at the time, and then Sigma somehow found their way to me, sent me a PR package, and I was able to try out more of their products, this highlighter in the shade Twilight being one of them. And I love this highlighter because as you see, it blends into the skin, right? Like I don't have a stripe, there's no chunks of glitter, but you can see the glow. Like I look very, very highlighted. So I reach for this one a ton. I love it. I think the quality is great. If you want to shop Sigma, I do have a code. KBella will save you 10% and this one has become a fast favorite. Another one that is very similar that is new to me, I think last year, did I get this last year or the year before? It's this one right here in the shade Cookie. Again, a champagne highlight. I feel like Cookie and Twilight might be very similar. Oh no, I just dug my nail into Twilight. I was trying to open it one handed and I dug my nail into it, sad day. Okay, well good thing Good thing there's a lot of highlighter here. So I feel like these shades may be similar. So the Sigma one looks like it might have a little bit more of a cooler undertone, whereas Cookie's a little bit lighter. Let's see, I don't know if you'll be able to see in a swatch, but I'll swatch them, my poor Sigma. Okay, here's Sigma. It almost has more of a rose gold shift. And then here's Cookie. Okay, so they do look very different when you swatch them. So Twilight looks more of like a rose gold and then the Cookie looks more of like a champagne gold. So this one right here is Sigma. And then this one right here is Cookie. You can definitely see when swatched out, Cookie is a little bit brighter, more of that icy white champagne. 
and then the Sigma is a little bit more of a rose gold, which I didn't realize when putting it on my face, but it does make sense. But I love these because as you can see, they're both very bright, they're both very stunning, very beaming, but there are no chunks of glitter, no specks of glitter. So it's gonna give me the bam, shiny face that I want without any chunks. And then these videos are always quick to film. It's like six minutes in and I'm almost done here. But my favorite, my number one favorite highlighter of all time is from my girl Natasha Denona. It is the Super Glow in Fair. Now I think they might have discontinued this because they went on sale. Can you see there's a big dip in the middle there? And then ever since going on sale, I haven't seen them on the Sephora site anymore, but I love this one. This is another very icy, icy highlight like cookie. It might not be as bright. Let's see, let's get a better swatch. So let's put it right here. So this one is Cookie, this one's Natasha Denona, and then this one's the Sigma. And it actually looks like the Natasha Denona might not be quite as icy as the Cookie, but I love this one. I fell in love with this one years ago when Smags was wearing it. This one really just like melts into your skin. It gives you a nice glow where your skin looks glowing, you look nice and healthy. It almost has like a cream look with a powder finish. So I really love this one. As you can see, there is there's a dip in there. It's a favorite. I, I hope that you can still get it. If you can, I'll link it below. If you can't, I'm so sorry. But it's just, it's just a really, really good quality creamy highlight. And I think it's worth the money. That's it for this video. I feel like these top fives are super quick super quick and easy, but those are my top five highlighter picks. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you tried any of these? What are your favorite highlighters of the moment? What do you think of these lashes? I'm trying out, these are the BK Beauty Risa Does Makeup in Martini. They're half lashes, and if you saw my Get Ready With Me, you saw that I mentioned I wanna trim them a little bit because it looks like a full lash, but it looks like I didn't bring it all the way in. I also haven't worn lashes in forever, so I mean, maybe user error. I need to practice some more, but anyway, that's it. If you wanna see this makeup look here, I did already film it, but if you want more of my top five series, stay tuned, because I have lips coming up next. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.